I make this video to bring glory and honor to Father God, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the Ra Kadesh. I, I, I was thinking about this topic. I was thinking I was thinking about this topic on Friday. And as I kept thinking about it, I was like, I want to do something about it. And um All I kept thinking is I want to do something about this. And um, as I kept thinking about it, thinking about it, I was like, I was just going to do it. Um, people, I want to read, I want to read the scripture real quick. Um, The second I find it. The soldiers as as they were on the way, they came across a man named Simon, who was from Cyrene. And they forced him to carry Jesus they forced him to carry Jesus' cross. Then they went out to the place called Gotha which means Skull Hill. The soldiers gave him wine mixed with vinegar, but when he had tasted it, he had refused to drink. The reason I'm doing this is because that's what many people... The reason why I'm doing this is, you know, if you know anything about vinegar, you know, sour wine, you know, it's awful. You know, it's a it's an awful taste. And if you know anything about gall, gall is really bitter. It's awful to the taste. You know, like how you would taste the Madison and it tastes awful. You know, like when you drink like a, a NyQuil or something and the, the taste is naturally awful. You know, my reason for telling you this is because that's what many people give Jesus. That's what many people give one another. You know, is vinegar mixed with gold. I'm, I mean, wine mixed with, you know, you know, they give sour wine and gall. And my reason for saying this to you is because you know, people naturally don't care. And I noticed that throughout my life. People naturally, you know, don't care. And, and, and there's a point in all of our lives where we at some point are sorrowful. You know, we feel broken. You know, we're put to shame and, and we're broken. And in many ways, we come to each other seeking refreshment, man. Seeking comfort, seeking water, the spiritual water. Not and when I say spiritual water, I'm not talking like the, the 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 waters of heaven, the waters of life. I mean spiritual water, like refreshment, water. You know, what you know, comfort. And many people, and. I, and I can and I gladly can vouch for it. Many people, instead of giving someone water comfort, they give them vinegar mixed with gall. And there's a many a times when I would go through my troubles, I would go through what I go through, no one's there to comfort me. No one's there to wipe tears of sorrow from my eye. No one's there to, to uplift me. And all I have when I seek comfort is vinegar mixed with golf. You know, I don't know why I started thinking about this. I don't know why. I don't even know at what point. You know, but I was listening to something, you know, the vision of revelation of Paul. 
and I'm going to put it in the description box as, long, as well as the scripture and Jesus was saying I asked for water and they gave me you know they gave me vinegar mixed with gall and when I read that I just felt for them. because how many how many of us give each other vinegar mixed with gall you know I don't honestly I don't know how I how I came to be how I am in many ways you know I I don't. I'm being honest. I don't. Um, I just know what it's like when. I know what it's. I, I know what it's like when you don't have no one there to comfort you. So I do the best I can to comfort people. To give them a spiritual water. I think about my neighbor. How I would do this and how I would do that. Because when they see, when they spiritually just tired or they're spiritually thirsty just thirsty and they and they're spiritually left warning the person is just left warning you know they left a need you know and they seek like refreshment they seek comfort they seek water and I do the best I can to give it to them Because I know what it's like when you have no one there. And in many ways, people give you vinegar mixed with gall. You know, uh, most people, you know, they're so naturally apathetic, you know, when and they don't care you know when you get past the etiquette and the vanity they don't care and that's painful that's 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 so painful when we have the ability to love one another or we have the ability to come to one another we have the ability to 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 seek one another or, you know to but we put it off or we don't care to do that and in the process all we do by one another is give each other vinegar mixed with gall you know me and my since I did this online ministry I met many Christians from many different walks and I met a lot of Christians who are no more than extreme theorists, man. You know, like for real, like, like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Hurricane Samantha gonna come by October, so you know what I'm saying? You need to be ready, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you can get, so Jesus can get his bride. Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, you know, this is what's going. You know, they can say all of these things, but they won't comfort you. They, you know, you can know. You can, they can know books of the Bible, hidden books of the Bible. They don't. They don't seek to comfort. They don't seek to to to, to refresh. They just seek to show that my knowledge is grander than yours, and this is what Jesus shares with me. And and they don't have that. And I find that in many ways, and I can't explain it with this mortal mind, but instead of comforting their neighbor, they just hey. God, Jesus, I want revelations. I want to prophesy. I want to speak in tongue. I want to heal. I want to walk on water. But they, but they don't realize when God gives them opportunities to prove that they can be trusted with things, or or they can be he, you know, they can be used when, when the opportunity presents itself. They don't give refreshment to their neighbor. They give vinegar mixed with gall. And when they do that, they prove themselves not worthy. I'm not saying it's like in the sense of us losing salvation, no. But it's heartbreaking when many live how they want to live 
or they'll pray to God like God Jesus why won't you talk to me why won't you seek me why, do, why can't I have a revelation why can't I have this why can't I have that you know you know are you not a respective person you seem like you say you're not but it seems like you are you know what and in many ways they don't understand what they bring the Father God is going to give this with God Brothers and sisters in Christ, when the opportunity presents itself where you can help someone, but you instead just talk down to them, or you don't help them, or you don't show pity for them, you're not giving them refreshment. You're not giving them a spiritual, or providing them with a spiritual water that refreshes. You give them salt, you're giving them vinegar mixed with gall. And when you do something like that to someone, it doesn't matter. And when you do that by someone, you don't see what you do by God. And what you're doing by Jesus is you're giving them vinegar mixed with gall. And truth be told, whether people are aware of it or not, that's an insult. It's an insult. But I hate to say it, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that's the apathy of man. The apathy of mankind. You know, uh, you, you know, there's times when I would be persecuted by Christians. Uh, you, you know, I, I would be, I'm being honest. And as I would be persecuted by Christians or people that I'm thinking are Christians, it's heartbreaking. And in and, and these times when I notice that the apathy is, is even present with, with, with some of them. And they, and they don't see it, you know, that when, when in an instant you can help someone and you just don't, or you just feel no kind of way about it, or you just do this with no remorse, you're giving in God vinegar mixed with God. And in doing so, you give him the offering of Cain. I say the offering of Cain because the offering of Cain went rejected. You know, um, there was an instant where there was an instant where I was talking to a, a brother and sister in Christ last year, and and the year before that as well, and I was close with him, who I thought I was, um, and around this time, this is like right around the time my uncle put a gun in me, and you know, just times, and the time before then, and they didn't seek to comfort, and don't forget, I was talking to the sister in Christ once, and she was just like, bro, you're deceived, you know what I'm saying, because we all have demons in us, and you know what I'm saying, you don't see it, and I'm like, no, I'm not deceived, yes, you are deceived, you, what are you talking about, no, I'm not, yes, you are, and, and they were just talking to me in this manner, that was not like Christ, you know, and I said to them, all I seek to do is encourage people and comfort people, and her reply was, I don't seek encouragement. And if you don't seek encouragement, and if you don't seek it, if you don't seek to give it, what are you doing? Where are you going with this? And the truth is, in many ways, where are you going with this? And time will go on, and I would notice that a lot of people's online ministry would fade away and fall away. And I, I used to wonder, why, why is this? But in many ways, I see it for, I see it for their heart was in, in the right place. They want, a, they want the gift of healing. They want right off, hey, I'm all right, Jesus, I'll be a Christian. All right, can I get the gift of healing? Can I get the gift of prophecy, special tongue, you know, special knowledge, special tongue, this, that, you know, and they seek it like that, and they don't even got the foundation. And truth be told, I noticed that when these people would treat me like this, where I would comfort them and be there for them in time, 
I would help them and I would be there, they didn't care for me. And when I withdrew myself from them, it's like I would notice that they were giving to God vinegar mixed with gall. And they always left one. Food for thought. There's people that I talk to. And 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 there's this one guy I used to talk to and he was this older dude, you know what I'm saying? And and, and I tried to reach out to him, help him, be there for him. You know, just to talk to him as friends, but he didn't have that love. He just had this knowledge that was grander than whatever. And this time I would wonder how come he's not entrusted with more? Is because if he was, what he would give people is vinegar mixed with gall. And it could make, and what I, that's what I was trying to say. I, I forgot where I was going with this. Brothers and sisters in Christ, if you don't use what well, you're given in the sense where you want to comfort or encourage or uplift people, give them like spiritual water, you're not going to be entrusted with something more. God gives you only what you can handle. And if you can't handle this upright, and you can't do upright with this, why should he entrust you with anything else? That's all. I hope this helped you, brothers and sisters in Christ. And people, where, where you treat people like this. Where you would sit here and say this, or where you would judge, or where you would look at them like this and like that. Just seek the comfort. Seek to be there for them. Seek to give them water. Because when you don't, you're giving to them vinegar mixed with gall. And in turn, they go, and, and when they see how you are in your walk and how you treat people, It'll make, and, and people don't understand, it'll make them say, you know what, if God and Jesus is, is like you, I don't want nothing to do with it. And it, will genu it genuinely will make people drift away from God and Jesus and His anger will be against you. Because when you have an opportunity to give water, when you have it, to give water, to uplift, to encourage, to find, give people refreshment and you don't, and you do it in a way where it's like, hey, my knowledge is grander than yours. You're insulting God and you're giving to him the offering of Cain. Vinegar mixed with gall. Keep in mind this. Because apathy, apathy in your heart, you don't understand that you set yourself against God. Why do I make this video and tell you this? So you don't do it any longer. Y'all be blessed, brothers and sisters in Christ.